You guys ever heard of the slit mouth woman or seen those pictures of geishas with the demonic look with big short fangs, teeth, you know, those, those vicious looking maws? That's what the thumbnail of today's video looks like. It's SCP-6979 Night Parade of a Single Demon. <laughs> the caption for the video by the rubber is, am I pretty? This thing is not pretty, okay? Anyway, guys, we're going to react to it today. Make sure to subscribe to the rubber. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos, too, and give me a like on the video. And uh, let's check it out. I don't know how it happened, nor do I know what I did to deserve something like this to happen to me. Oh, God. <laughs> but it did. Nobody I was just minding my this. own business, it's walking like through the metropolitan maybe. area of Tokyo. All of a sudden, everyone vanished. And the world around me took on a deep red hue. Okay. Confused and scared, I looked for the closest thing to normal I could find, which happened to be a candy shop of Did all places. Did you go into another dimension? Inside, even the contents of the store had that bloody red color too. The liquid candies, on the other hand, took on a deep black color that resembled squid ink. Weird. I slumped against the counter and pondered what I would do or could do to escape this place. My decision was made for me. However, when demon? a woman opened the door to the store, she had long black hair that nearly reached the floor and clawed hands that were stained uh -oh. crimson, darker than the world around the me. One from the thumbnail. Her mouth was covered by a surgical mask that <laughs> failed to it's cover up the scars reason. that must have extended out uh. from her lips. The next thing she did was remove said mask. Oh, it's like Melina of Portal Combat. <laughs> she then smiled. I think it was hard to tell considering that her mouth reached her ears. Dozens of scars oh extended outwards from her lips. Her gaze was completely yeah, locked creepy, onto me dude. when she was approaching me, that easily is towering over me as well. Am I pretty? She asked. No. Me. Stupefied by this Absolutely question, not. I reflexively answered with a quick no. 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 Stupid mistake on my no, part. You the said next thing beautiful. I knew, my eardrums burst. But of course, she, she might have wanted a kiss. Shriek that brought me to the ground and oh, pain she's and like terror. a banshee too. The last thing I remembered as I clutched my bleeding ears was looking up to see a clawed hand closing in on my neck. I was positive I'd been decapitated as the world blurred on by and my head rolled on the ground. Oh my but god. But no sooner did my head stop rolling than I returned back to Tokyo. Sorry? The real Tokyo. I quickly clutched my throat dream? and patted my body wildly as people watched on. Did you just How have I survived like a and where I went? Panic attack or something? Hell if I know. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm the Rubber. Another dimension Today, maybe? we bring you SCP Foundation Euclid Class Object SCP-6979. SCP-6979, also nasty. known as Night Parade, <laughs> Night Parade of a Single, of a Demon, single Demon, is a humanoid entity that resembles a ghost by all appearances, okay. with a mutilated face and exceptionally long claws. 6979 itself lives in a separate yet like connected <laughs> dimension to our yeah. own. Many may know 6979 by her most famous moniker, the Slit-Mouthed Woman. Ah! However, 6979 only takes on this form in order to feed on belief from humanity so as ah. to continue her own existence. She can feed on this belief in her by either killing or frightening her prey, she summarily causing belief. others to believe in and fear her. However, due okay. to an agreement with the Foundation, all deaths and attacks associated with 6979 have ceased. She signed the contract? The dimension that 6979 originates so it is, is called another... Mamonokai designated Dimension. as SCP-6979-1. Okay. This place appears to be an exact replica of Japan, except for a few characteristics that stand out. All light like within the, the dimension is a dark shade of red. All right. grounds are covered in soot, all liquids are black, and all electronic devices are damaged unless connected to a power source upon entry into the dimension. The actual extent to how much of Japan is recreated here is unknown. So it hasn't the been only method really to get into Mamanokai is to dematerialize and rematerialize into it by being in contact with 6979. Okay. Apparently, there are portals that grant access to this dimension, but they are currently inactive due to hmm. some sealing rituals the Foundation has yet to decipher. Ah. Furthermore, the other inhabitants that exist within 6979-1 collectively referred to as SCP-6979-2. Well, that's the designation they would have been given if they hadn't all been exterminated by the Imperial Japanese Anomalous Matters Extermination Agency. What? I-J-A-M-E-A. -E During the 1930s, Another groups of interest? It is for that reason that, that 6979 is now the sole inhabitant of Mamanokai. Okay. An operation was carried out to determine 6979's sentience. The plan was to send a D-Class to an area as bait, and to ask the entity questions. 
12 agents were stationed around the area should the situation go awry. All right. When 6979 appeared, the D-Class proceeded with the prepared <laughs> questions. <laughs> However, 6979 appeared guarded and then began to demanifest. Mm. As if a sudden surge of courage overcame him, the D-Class reached out and grabbed its hand. Oh. Together, they vanished and reappeared in 6979-1. Uh -huh. The D-Class regained consciousness and noticed that his surroundings were tinted red. Still on the ground, he looked up and screamed when he saw 6979, who was now dressed in a traditional oh my white God. with much longer hair and sharp claws instead of hands. Its mouth had been turned vertically, so oh. now extending from where its right eye used to be, oh my down God. to its chin and neck and into its chest, That's disappearing new look, under boo? its kimono. Oh, its left eye seemed to have partially morphed with its right like one Picasso into a single organ. Like Picasso and a demon had a baby. The umbrella it carried was made of red paper with several holes in it. Oh my god, please, spare <laughs> yeah, me. I guess so. 6979 tilted its head, then crouched and stared at him directly. Am I pretty? Leave. No. Its gaze remained fixed on the still trembling D-Class. Should you tell oh, him to for go? sure, I'll do that. If you'll just tell me wh where the exit is. <laughs> but 6979 only directions? lifted its claw and said, There is no exit but death. Oh, uh, let's not do that. Let's then. not do that. 6979 lowered its claw. Why have you come here? Who sent you? The foundation. Me coming here wasn't part of the plan. Was My just... uh, government was trying to stop you from killing people on uh, the, the oh. other side. <laughs> Am I a monster to be stopped now for mere dozens of lives? Yes. Yes. Even a single life is... Don't you dare reproach me for what your filthy ill cause. Bad deeds are punishments themselves. Nay, to say a hundred victims is punishment for your actions would be an insult to the suffering you've inflicted upon my world. The is she talking telepathically? So he remained silent. Or this is a sideways Judging mouth. From your this... reaction, you probably don't know what the people from your world did to mine. Very well. I mean... I'll tell you. I need you to know. Else my pain. The pain of my people would be not forgotten. Come, walk with me. Uh, 6979 turned have around a choice? and the D-Class followed. Together, they walked past many dilapidated houses. As long as I don't have to look at your I've face, I guess. for many years now, wandering aimlessly through the burnt remains of what I called home. Only by taking on the identity of a murderous beast in your realm was I able to survive. <laughs> Soon, they arrived Weird. at an empty lot with a building made of concrete. You see, this place, this was built by your government, uh -huh. your empire, when they came to conscript us. It was actually made by us. Because why would the Imperial Army sully their hands with hard labor? 6979 pointed towards an empty crate with the phrase, Property of the Empire of Great Japan and the mm. logo of I-J-A-M-E-A. -E this is where we were trained by your people uh -huh. to fight for your empire. They used us as weapons against some foreign countries that I don't even remember the names of. So they were experimenting with anomalous they weaponry. absolute obedience and a fear of us betraying them out on the battlefield. <laughs> Believe me when I say that they got what they asked for. Scores of us were sent out to the battlefield in your world, only to die within days. Eventually, That's after usually how war a handful happens. of us were left, the Emperor realized that everything they did with us was nothing but a waste of time. Thousands of us, dead, <laughs> only to be thought a minor waste of time and resources by an uncaring tyrant. Still, why waste Sad anything? story, huh? So, they sent the rest of us out to die for the glory of their empire. Only I survived after faking suicide. Ugh. Looking like a bloodied up corpse made it easy. Look at me. God. I'm sorry. I had no idea. If it's any consolation, I believe the age of imperialism is now over. I'm yeah. sure. Well, we tried to fight back, of course, using powers of magic, brute force, and even the unbridled fury of those you consider deities. In the end. We failed against the might of the Emperor's Imperial soldiers. <laughs> it's hard to look at it, dude. Us with that weapons. is such a it cost many of us to give up on the message. fight before it really started. After all, what use is control over lightning if two well-placed bullets can snuff out your life? They remain silent True that. for a moment. I'll make sure I let our people know. I promise. 
As I wish to be alone with my thoughts. Very well. Again, there's only one way to return to your world from this place. Death. 6979 lifted its claw in the air. I'll make it as painless as I possibly can. You deserve this much. That's yeah. not really that comforting. Come on, man. I Better than nothing. Ready? The D-Class inhaled sharply and closed his eyes as he stilled himself. Sure, sure. And why not? Better sooner than... 6979 swiped its claw at his neck, decapitating him in one clean cut. Quick. Before his head touched the ground, quick, the D-Class faded into nothingness and reappeared back in his reality. After wow. hearing the report, the Foundation set to work on unlocking and fixing the portals to Memonokai. It appears that the blocked portals are what had been forcing 6979 to come to our world to feed. Ah. In doing so, they would be able to offer 6979 some comfort in all that it had lost. With the portals finally reopened, 6979 no longer needed to feed on humanity's beliefs any further. When asked why that was, she didn't answer, and only smiled instead. Oh, be careful! <laughs> that seems like it might be pretty dangerous! Is she just fooling people? I mean, it ain't like she could just go around and just be accepted with that mouth. <laughs> Vertical ass mouth. <laughs> Guys, I hope y'all really enjoyed this one. Make sure to subscribe to the rubber. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos too. Thanks so much for watching. As always, since the Lord and sign off, we'll see you next time.